Hi, this is Rebecca Aronson, school counselor at Free Old Township High School. Welcome to back to school night. This is definitely different from my 13th year. I've never done this virtually. So uh, I know this situation is not ideal for anybody, but we are making the best out of this situation. And I want my parents and my students to know that we are always here. Guidance is always open if they need anything at all, whether it's shooting me an email, whether it's calling whether it's Google Meet, that we are still here. Now, welcome to my new freshman parents, my new student parents. Uh, every year, what I like to do at Back to School Night is kind of go through year to year what we do as a guidance department. So freshman year, of course, there's a lot of transitioning from middle school to high school. Kids come in with a clean slate, so we really want them to live up to their full potential. And one of my biggest regrets that my senior students always tell us is that they wish they had gotten involved more. You know, it helps finding a club or a sport that our students love and enjoy because it is a large school, so it helps them find their niche. Now, this year, we will actually have an extracurricular activities fair virtually. So for my freshman students, I definitely want them to go on and see if there's any different clubs and organizations that they may be interested in. And um, I would love to see them get involved with something. Again, it helps such a large school. It makes it feel a little bit smaller for them and it helps me people. For sophomore year, we start working on more of um, the career interest profile or what based on their personality what careers may be of interest to them start thinking about their future because before they know it they will be a senior it goes by fast so we want them to start thinking about if they want to go vocational if they're planning on applying to a four-year college um, if maybe there's just a career that they've always kind of had in the back of their mind what then do they need to take in high school? Now, every year we meet with our students to go over the next year's courses that they will be taking and I make sure that they're on track for not only graduation, but for their future plans. So sophomore year, definitely we, we really narrowed down that as well. Then junior year, we start focusing more on the post-secondary planning. What is their future? after high school. And this year, actually, we will be giving the PSATs to our juniors and there will be information, if not already, sent out to you about that. So they'll start getting their feet wet for the SATs and start thinking about what colleges may be of interest to them or if they're interested in going into the military or again, vocational or trade school. Um, and then senior year is, is when we get down to the nitty gritty of whether it's the college applications, whether it's um, looking at uh, whether or not it's Brookdale or four-year college, we definitely start doing that and we, we walk our students and our parents through that pretty well, I think. We don't let anyone fall through the cracks. So definitely this year, it is really, really important for my parents and students to stay and, and check the website as much as possible. So our students this year obviously will be virtual until October 19th. Uh, they will be going through their schedules. They will actually be meeting with their teachers virtually this year. Um, and it is important that they clock uh, in at that certain time because attendance is a big issue in high school. The state requires you to clock a certain amount of hours, seat time, so it's very important. Even though this is virtual, the students are still, um, you know, they still have to adhere to the attendance policies. Uh, and uh, with that being said, if you ever need any help with getting in touch with a teacher or uh, you know any scheduling issues, obviously, please don't hesitate to reach out to us. Um, it's just really important that my students uh, remain true to themselves and really figure out what they want to do. And high school is that time to really kind of figure out and wean out what they do or don't like. Um, but I'm kind of here as that, that guide for them. And we have obviously different resources. Our website is filled with different information for each grade level. Um, you know, 
it's just it's a lot of information thrown at you uh, in such a short period of time. I miss you guys so much. Uh, I can't wait to see. I will be Google meeting with each one of my students, including my freshman students. So I look forward to meeting them. And I just hope you all are well and safe and hopefully we'll see each other soon. Thanks. Bye.